In the heart of France, a legend whispers of sleek, enigmatic creatures with eyes that pierce the unknown. These cats are woven into the nation's history, their presence echoing through centuries of folklore. From Brittany's mystical forest to Provence's fields, cats hold a special place in French imagination. Medieval tales spoke of enchanted cats, their purrs carrying secrets and their eyes reflecting hidden truths. These stories reveal a profound respect for feline independence and awe at their enigmatic nature. Cats are guardians of secrets, keepers of ancient wisdom, and threads connecting the past to the present. Cat's real-life arrival in France is as fascinating as their folklore. Revered for their practicality, Cat's journey began thousands of years ago with ancient civilizations. Egyptians, worshippers of Bastet, were among the first to domesticate cats. Romans brought cats to France, recognizing their usefulness in controlling rodents. During the Middle Ages, cats adapted to changing social landscapes, proving their worth. However, the Black Death cast a long shadow and cats were tragically caught in the crosshairs of fear and suspicion. Cats' journey to France is a testament to their resilience. Long before the Eiffel Tower, feline travelers made their mark on Gaul. Among exotic goods and bustling ports, cats arrived with merchants and explorers. Cats adapted to Gaul's rolling hills and dense forests, proving their worth to farmers. Their arrival marked the beginning of a long, intertwined history with the French. These feline companions became an integral part of French life. The Roman Empire's conquest of Gaul impacted France's feline population. Roman villas became havens for cats, valued for maintaining order and hygiene. Roman soldiers and merchants brought tales of exotic cats sparking curiosity. The Roman era was a time of relative prosperity for cats in France. Cats were valued household members, symbols of good fortune and domestic harmony. However, a period of darkness loomed, testing their loyalty and companionship. The fall of the Roman Empire plunged Europe into instability. Cats remained steadfast companions, adapting to changing times. They sought refuge in monasteries and farmhouses, offering mousing skills for shelter. Cats' loyalty during turbulent times did not go unnoticed. Stories of felines protecting their human families cemented their reputation as protectors. Cats emerged stronger, their bond with humans forged in adversity. The Middle Ages cast a long shadow over the feline world. Cats' fate swung between admiration and fear, linked to human perception. Valued for their mousing abilities, cats earned their keep in homes and barns. Children found solace in the warmth of a purring cat amidst medieval uncertainties. However, a sinister undercurrent emerged, tarnishing their reputation. The rise of Christianity cast a wary eye on the feline world. The Black Death marked a turning point for cats in France. Cats became easy targets for a society gripped by fear and superstition. Rumors linked cats to the plague, sealing their fate. Cats were demonized and slaughtered in misguided attempts to halt the plague. Ironically, this likely exacerbated the spread of the Black Death. The persecution of cats during this period left an indelible scar. Amidst the Black Death, glimmers of hope emerged for cats. Monasteries became havens, recognizing cats' value in protecting manuscripts and food stores. Monks provided shelter, allowing feline populations to recover. Some individuals continued to keep cats, risking social ostracism. These acts of defiance served as beacons of hope. The enduring bond between humans and animals persisted. As the Black Death receded, fear and superstition loosened. The need to rebuild prompted a renewed appreciation for cats' mousing abilities. Farmers welcomed cats back into barns and fields. Cats' status remained ambiguous, but seeds of redemption were sown. The Black Death highlighted cats' resilience and adaptability. Cats were poised to reclaim their place in French life. <laughs> 
The Renaissance ushered in a new era for cats in France. The spirit of inquiry and appreciation for the natural world impacted feline perception. Artists and scholars rediscovered the beauty and grace of felines. Leonardo da Vinci studied cats, captivated by their agility and elegance. The printing press helped debunk myths and superstitions surrounding cats. A more nuanced understanding of the feline-human bond emerged. Section 2, From Shadows to Salons, Cats Among the Elite. As the Renaissance blossomed, so too did the cat's social standing. No longer confined to barns and monasteries, felines began to gain acceptance in more refined settings. The French aristocracy, always at the forefront of fashion and trends, embraced the cat as a symbol of sophistication and refinement. Royal palaces and noble estates opened their doors to these elegant creatures, welcoming them into a world of luxury and indulgence. Cats, with their innate air of grace and independence, fit seamlessly into these opulent surroundings. They were no longer seen merely as skilled mousers, but as discerning companions, their presence a testament to the refined tastes of their human counterparts. Ladies of the court, adorned in silks and jewels, could often be found with a beloved cat perched on their laps or nestled in their arms. These feline companions became fashion accessories, living embodiments of elegance and charm. Their presence added an air of mystery and intrigue to the already captivating atmosphere of courtly life. The rise of the cat among the elite was not merely a matter of aesthetics. Cats, with their quiet companionship and ability to provide comfort amidst the intrigues of courtly life, became valued confidants. Their presence offered a sense of solace and stability in a world often characterized by shifting alliances and political maneuvering. Section 3, A Time for Pursuit of Knowledge, Cats in the Enlightenment. The Enlightenment, a period marked by reason, scientific inquiry, and a belief in progress, further solidified the cat's place in French society. Intellectuals and philosophers eager to understand the natural world turned their attention to the study of animals, including the enigmatic feline. Naturalists armed with newfound observational techniques meticulously documented the behavior and anatomy of cats, seeking to unravel the mysteries of their senses and instincts. These scientific inquiries, devoid of the superstitious lens of previous eras, presented cats as fascinating subjects worthy of serious study. They were no longer seen as supernatural beings, but as creatures governed by the same laws of nature as any other. The rise of salons, those intellectual gatherings where ideas were debated and knowledge shared, provided a platform for discussing the latest discoveries about the natural world, including insights into feline behavior. Cats, often present in these gatherings, served as living examples of the elegance and intelligence that captivated the minds of Enlightenment thinkers. The Enlightenment's emphasis on reason and observation helped to dispel lingering myths and misconceptions about cats. They were no longer viewed as witches' familiars or harbingers of bad luck, but as intelligent creatures capable of learning, adapting, and forming strong bonds with humans. This period marked a turning point in the history of cats in France, paving the way for their full acceptance as cherished companions. A section four, the rise of the Aristocats breeding and distinction. The growing appreciation for cats in French society led to a surge in interest in breeding and developing distinct feline lineages. What began as a pursuit among the aristocracy soon spread to other segments of society, as people from all walks of life sought to own a cat that reflected their taste and status. Breeders, recognizing the allure of unique feline characteristics, began to selectively breed cats with desirable traits such as distinctive coat patterns, eye colors, and temperaments. This careful selection process, driven by both aesthetics and a desire to create companion animals suited to specific lifestyles, gave rise to some of the most beloved French cat breeds we know today. The Chartreux, a robust blue-gray cat with striking copper eyes, emerged as a symbol of French national pride. Its history intertwined with legends of Carthusian monks who supposedly bred these felines for their hunting skills and gentle nature. The Burman, with its silky white coat, contrasting points, and piercing blue eyes, captivated hearts with its elegant beauty and affectionate personality. These carefully bred cats, each with its own unique charm and allure, became highly sought-after companions, prized for their beauty, temperament, 
and connection to French history and culture. The rise of distinct French cat breeds reflected the growing fascination with felines, transforming them from mere mousers to objects of admiration and symbols of national identity. France, a nation long enamored with feline grace, embraced a novel concept, the Cat Café. This fusion of café culture and feline companionship, pioneered in Taiwan, found fertile ground in France. The first cat café in France opened in the early 21st century, offering a haven for cat lovers and rescued felines. The concept captured the imagination of the French public. Imagine stepping into a cozy café, the aroma of coffee mingling with the soft murmur of purrs. These establishments quickly became popular gathering spots. The cats, often rescues, thrived, receiving attention and affection from visitors. These cafes became symbols of compassion, community, and the bond between humans and felines. Beyond the charming whimsy of cat cafes, modern France witnessed a growing recognition of the therapeutic benefits of feline companionship. The French, known for their appreciation of the finer things in life, embraced the notion that cats, with their calming presence and ability to provide unconditional affection, could contribute to overall well-being. Scientific studies conducted in France and around the world began to shed light on the positive effects of feline companionship on human health. Cats, with their rhythmic purrs and gentle nature, were found to lower blood pressure, reduce stress hormones, and even promote feelings of happiness and contentment. These findings resonated deeply in a society increasingly concerned with stress management and mental health. The French healthcare system, known for its holistic approach to well-being, began to incorporate animal-assisted therapy, including feline therapy, into its treatment modalities. Cats, with their innate ability to sense human emotions and provide comfort without judgment, proved to be valuable companions for individuals struggling with anxiety, depression, and loneliness. Their presence in hospitals, nursing homes, and rehabilitation centers brought joy and solace to patients facing challenging circumstances. The embrace of PER therapy in modern France highlighted a growing awareness of the interconnectedness of human and animal well-being. It reflected a shift away from a purely clinical approach to healthcare towards a more compassionate model that acknowledged the emotional and psychological benefits of human-animal interaction. Cats, once valued primarily for their practical skills, were now recognized as sources of comfort, healing, and emotional support. Section 3 From Aristocats to Every Cat, the Modern French Feline. In contemporary France, the cat, once a symbol of aristocratic privilege, has truly become a creature for everyone. From grand Parisian apartments to quaint countryside cottages, cats hold a cherished place in French hearts. The modern French feline, regardless of its lineage, is embraced as a member of the family. The French extend their impeccable taste to their feline companions. Pet boutiques offer a dizzying array of cat toys, accessories, and gourmet treats. The modern French cat embodies the enduring bond between humans and animals. Section 1, An Enduring Bond. Reflections on a Shared History. Reflecting on the enduring bond between humans and these enigmatic creatures. From ancient origins to modern day reign, cats have charmed and captivated. Their story is woven into the fabric of French culture, from revered hunters in ancient Gaul to scapegoats in the Middle Ages, rising from fear to cherished companions in grand salons and humble homes. With quiet grace, cats have left an indelible mark on the French soul. Their story reminds us of the complex, evolving human-animal relationship. The French recognize the unique place cats hold in human experience. Cats teach us about independence, resilience, and cherishing life's moments. Section 2, The French Paradox, Independence and Affection. The French, often associated with romance and elegance, embody a paradox with their feline companions. They adore the cat's independent spirit, yet revel in moments of affection. This paradox makes their relationship special, built on mutual respect and unique qualities. The French admire the cat's self-reliance and recognize its capacity for deep affection. They delight in the subtle ways cats show love. The French paradox with cats is a testament to their multifaceted nature. 
love and affection coexist with independence. In the dance between distance and closeness, they find a rhythm that speaks to the heart. Section 3. A Legacy Etched in Stone and Spirit The legacy of cats in France extends far beyond their physical presence in homes, cafes, and gardens. It is a legacy etched in the very fabric of French culture, woven into its art, literature, folklore, and everyday life. From whimsical tales in medieval manuscripts to elegant felines and impressionist paintings, cats have left an undeniable mark on the French imagination. Walk the streets of Paris, and you'll find their presence in whimsical sculptures, charming illustrations, and affectionate nicknames. Their image adorns everything from postcards to high-end fashion accessories, a testament to their enduring appeal. But perhaps the most profound legacy of cats in France is an intangible essence woven into the very soul of the nation. It is the spirit of independence, curiosity, and a love for the simple pleasures in life.